How's it going everybody? This is Awais back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can debug your iOS emulator running your Ionic 4 application. So I've been doing Ionic 4 series, so this is where I would like to show you guys how you can debug your app running on an iOS emulator. Also, you can do the same thing when you're running your app on your device using a USB. So let's take a look at how you can debug. It's a little bit different than Ionic 3 debugging. So first thing you want to do is you want to start your emulator. You can do that by going to the terminal and going to your folder where your app is and type the command Ionic Cordova Emulate iOS and dash dash live reload if you want to live reload the server. So for example, if I here say, hey, I'm going to command S and it will reload the emulator and it will have things applied. So I'm going to go back and change this. This is what just I wanted to show you that you can reload your server. So now I'm going to go and open Safari. So here I have a Safari and here I'll see there's a menu called a develop. So if you don't see that, what you want to do is go to Safari, go to preference and go to advanced. And then here, make sure you have enabled show develop menu in the menu bar. And once you have that, you close this out and then click on this develop tool and then click on this simulator. And here you'll see if you have any emulator running currently. So you'll go to uh, you'll go to develop and go to simulator and then click on this 192.168.3.192. It will open up this uh, Safari window and here you have everything which is running on your emulator. So here, if you go to the sources tab, you will see a lot of files here and these files seems like that files but they have subfolder inside them for example right now i am in tabs module then i will find in the source tab there's something called tabs dash tabs dash module.js now in the code if you take a look at i have this app folder and i have this tab modules and here i'm lazy loading in the tab module Similar to that, if I look at here, I'll go inside the tab, and then in the, inside the tab, I have all the pages related to tabs module, I have all the models related to tabs module, and I have the tabs related to uh, tabs folder, which has some tabs files, for example, tabs.ts, and also tabs.module. So basically, in Ionic 3, you had to go to main.js, and you'll go to next folder and then source and then app and here you will see every single thing but in ionic 4 because we use ionic uh, lazy loading from angular now so angular stick has a different kind of lazy loading uh, so we use that in ionic 4 that's why we have to basically load the module before we can see them in a source tab so here you don't see a login dash login module so if i go to use a tab in emulator and i'll sign out and that will log me in log me out and show me this login module which is totally different thing so now if i look at the sources tab i see this login dash login dash module.js and here i will have all the files related to this so for example in my login.page.html file I should be able to see this sign in button and the text should be sign in. So here, if I go and change this, let's just say, uh, I can't change this here, uh, but anyway, you can see the HTML right here. So if I go to login page.ts and I do a breakpoint here, so let me just do a breakpoint here and I also will do a breakpoint here. I'm going to go to emulator, I'm going to start type in some email address and then try to log into this app and when i click on sign in and you will see a breakpoint getting enabled so here i can see i'm at this breakpoint right now so it says this router dot navigate by url so it's going to take me to tabs module now so if i let it run it'll take me to the tabs module so you can see that you can uh do you can basically do a breakpoint but you have to load that specific module to be able to see that in the sources uh, so here i can see login now i can see tabs module and everything related to tabs modules are available here so let's go back and here i will show you some of the folder structure here for example in the tab module if i click on this routing file I want to go okay if I go to charts page I want to break one here if you click on chart 
it should break one but it wouldn't because it's not calling this uh, object again and again it already called for the first time so let me just get out and I'll go to file and yet there you go so here we have a log it function if I tap on this and if I click on click me that would just log in here so this is the function it calls when I click on click me so here you can see you can log in and you can see what's happening here all right so this is how you debug your ionic 4 application using safari on ios emulator